What's going on guys, Matt Schaefer back here with another Mosaic audio file build for you. This one is in a Bentley Flying Spur. This one, I can probably consider this a conversion one. So let's go ahead and check it out. So starting off with the trunk here, this is our beauty panel that is gonna hide all the equipment inside the car. You're gonna have the two subwoofers. In this case, we used a lot of the customer's existing equipment. These are two 10 inch old Boston Pro subwoofers. And then we have some Morel amplifiers here. We have two five channels, a four channel. Basically, this is gonna run all the speakers in the car active. It's gonna have that fifth output on both of those amplifiers for the subwoofer. Uh, and then we have our Moscone 8 to 12 Pro up here in the corner. The beauty panel that you see here is essentially hiding everything, right? So hiding the subwoofer enclosure, hiding the amp rack. We use a lot of factory materials, as you can see a little closer here. We have the vinyl. Uh, the cream color linen vinyl and then we have the perforated version there in the center that is creating the insert look these are all different thicknesses from the top to the bottom we have the cream solid here in the center and then we have the matching black on the sides we incorporated the factory tie downs that you see there in the panel that we built. Essentially, the subwoofer enclosure is bolted to where these were on the side here to, to mount the subwoofer enclosure in a sturdy way, but it's also in a OEM location, so we didn't drill any new holes. So we just reuse those on the face of this to kind of integrate everything in. And of course, you can see the aluminum work uh, bringing that into consideration here in the center. We have our Bentley logo there, which is I, it's pretty much like powder coated on. There's a spray called Surmark, which basically you're you're spraying the finished piece of aluminum, putting it in the laser, and then you're using the laser to essentially powder coat that uh, design onto the aluminum. And then you just use some, some alcohol to rub off all the Surmark spray paint. So that accounts for that. And then of course you have this strip here at the top. And if you're looking at this gloss black panel with this strip, uh, of aluminum in in the panel. If we go up here to the factory door panel, you're gonna see the same type of design here. So we have black, we have the aluminum inset into the gloss black, and then of course we have the cream, we have the perforated, and then we have the black. And of course, the aluminum accents. So we brought that inspiration into the panel that we have here and you can see the grill design i can get up close here that is basically a polished version of this mesh so if you look at that and then look at the front bumper here the grill it's essentially a scaled down version of that mesh so we're bringing everything into our creation making this look like you know bentley put it here so again we have a ton of equipment back here subwoofers enclosure three amps dsp uh fusing wiring all that completely hidden there in the trunk and maybe i can overlay a picture in here but you can see right there that is the lit acrylic so at night that is actually your new trunk light which then casts this really nice glow onto the face of this trim here this is the first time we've used these morale amplifiers it worked out pretty well uh, again we have the two five channels in the four channel and then the moscone 8 to 12 pro dsp that we use on this build again customer brought us pretty much all the equipment that we're using in this particular build so behind this panel here is going to be the outlet for the the battery so there's your battery and then there is our circuit breaker so if you needed to kill power to all our stuff you can easily just hit that red button and it kills power to everything that is going to our amp rack so that pretty much explains everything happening here in the trunk so let's go check out the inside all right so we created this piece here in the center that is our pass-through the subwoofers are right behind the seats here and that would have been the ski pass opening so that panel is to give that oem integrated look we have the bentley b there that you can also see up there on the seats we have the same uh mesh there that is polished and we have the aluminum polished insert that you can see on the top and the bottom of that piece there so 
there is grill cloth behind that grill mesh. So the air is moving and acting as a vent from the subwoofer, right? So there's less pressure built up into the trunk area, therefore eliminating a lot of the resonance that you would hear from the pressure in the trunk itself. This whole thing can easily flip back up if you wanted to and put in for the completely hidden look. All right, and as for the interior, we have a set of Focal Kevlar three ways here in the front of the car. We have the six inch mid base here in the bottom. I can overlay a picture of what it looks like behind the door panel. Did uh, some sound treatment with some sound shield behind the door panel just to kind of tighten everything up. And then of course, we have our mid range inner tweeter here. Now this car originally came with a two way up front. You had the six and then the tweet in the dashboard. But in this case, we elected for a three way. So again, mid base six inch Kevlar at the bottom and then our mid range and tweeter. Now we made these pillars from scratch to add the mid range and the tweeter. Now we took the design from the mid base. As you can see, you have that little bit of aluminum trim with the very tight mesh there, the tight circle mesh. And we decided to integrate that and bring that into our pillar. So we have the mid range and the tweeter and we have the tight mesh, same color, same choice of materials. We have the linen vinyl, and then we have the polished aluminum rings that are hand routed from aluminum. So that gives the integrated look across the board that all the speakers have the same type of design and execution. And here's the door panel again. This just give you, gives you kind of a closer look at the material choices. So you have the polished aluminum accents all over the place. You have the linen solid vinyl, you have the perforated vinyl, uh, the black vinyl at the bottom, this gloss with the aluminum inset piece. That's why we decided to do that and bring those material choices and how they overlap and mesh together into our trunk. As far as the radio goes, we're using the factory radio for our traditional preset number one, which is connecting to the OEM radio. So a lot of these Bentleys from this range, this year range, they have a variable input into the factory amplifier. So we can essentially get rid of the factory amp and we can take that variable signal from the factory radio and put it into our DSP. So we get a little bit cleaner of a signal, less nonsense going on, less summing happening. And that is what we did for preset number one. So all your factory functionality is still gonna be there in place. And our DSP controller, it's a little bit hard to see considering the it's very bright in here, but you have our DSP controller here at the bottom. This is the Moscone. We built it into this panel using that gloss. As you can see, that whole center is gloss black there. So our piece is basically meshed in with that factory design. We even polished the aluminum knob. So this generally comes black. You put on a drill press with some sandpaper and some polish to give that a nice factory look. And of course we have our three presets down here. Easy to use within arm's length. Preset number two is going to be our AMAS, which is our full bandwidth Bluetooth streaming, which is installed underneath the rear seat. This is gonna be the best connection for our phone to integrate into the uh, audio system. This is gonna give us a perfect digital 20 to 20K signal. Uh, there are no crossover points or anything like that, completely flat. So it's gonna be our most organic way of getting a uh, good audio signal into our DSP. And as you can see right now, I'm actually connected to the AMAS and the factory radio at the same time. And it's showing me the information on the factory radio while the audio is actually going on to preset two. So the audio is bypassing the factory radio. It's going directly to our DSP, giving us good audio, but it's still showing us the information here on the factory radio. We can even hit track four, track back, play, whatever it is. And obviously volume is just controlled from our DSP controller down here. So it's a very integrated way into have, having the best of both worlds, right? Using the factory radio, but not using the audio from the factory radio. So that is a thing to note that we do on most cars. And obviously preset three is going to be our input for our high res player analog out into the last two analog input channels for our DSP. This is going to be our Astell and Kern SP2000. It's gonna be one of the best handheld uh, DAPs that you can find on the market with the best uh, DACs included in the player that you can pretty much find on any player. 
So other portable players like a Fio or other things out there, to me, this is the Mac Daddy. This is a night and day difference between even you know, the best Fio that you can find out there. And again, the magic is within the DAC and the DACs are gonna create your separation, your width and depth, which is gonna be a noticeable difference from your Bluetooth streaming from your phone. Yeah, so that pretty much explains the full scope of the build. Thank you guys so much for continuing to show this channel support. If you wanna see more videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that alert button. That way you're notified anytime that we drop a video. Also, if you have a project and you're interested uh, you want to talk, you have some questions, here's my phone number followed by my email address. These are the two best points of contact for me. Also, make sure you check out our website, mosaicdesign.com. This is where you're going to find all the build logs to everything that we've done in a very easy to find format by searching by make, model, whatever it is, job type, and you will easily find the full scope of each car that we've done attached with the build log and the YouTube video if we had done one for the car. So give that a look. Also, make sure you subscribe to our podcast. It's called the Old Fashioned Car Audio Podcast. If you're interested in learning more about car audio, maybe you're an enthusiast or maybe you're an installer. It could be a combination of the both. It's geared more towards the enthusiast, but this is going to give you information to understand what makes audio work in a modern day car, right? Because you can't just swap speakers anymore and expect a better sound. There's much more involved into an audio system to get a better performing product. So give the podcast a look. You can follow us on TikTok at The Real Maddie S. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at The Real Maddie S. Sound effects automotive and then music design on Instagram. So yeah, guys, I appreciate the support and I'll see you on the next one.